everything new in iOS 17.1 Beta 2. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider, it is Andrew here, and Apple has released the second developer beta of iOS 17.1. This update is supposed to include quite a few changes, and there are a couple things that I want to discuss with you in this video. We're going to walk you through the size of this, we're going to walk you through release dates, and of course all the new features. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive into it. Here we are with my iPhone 15 Pro Max, and this is beta 2 of iOS 17.1. Apple doesn't list all the changes here, so it kind of leaves it up to us to figure out what has been updated. So to start, this update weighed in at just under 900 megabytes, 864 here on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Depending on your model of your phone, this update size may change. Once I got it updated, we can check out the build number. We're at iOS 17.1, 21B, 5056E. As we get closer and closer to release, that letter at the end, that's going to get smaller and closer to A. So I guess not really smaller, but closer to A. So we're at E, we're still a little bit away from release right now. I believe this update is slated to ship here in October, but we'll talk about release date towards the end of the video. The first change to talk about in iOS 17.1 Beta 2 is we're going to go down to Standby. If you have an iPhone 14 Pro or iPhone 15 Pro, there's a new option for display settings. So this will automatically turn off your display after this period of time. So automatically turn off the display after 20 seconds or just never, just never turn off that display. Again, this only works if you have an always-on display, which can be the iPhone 14 Pro, 14 Pro Max, or 15 Pro, or 15 Pro Max. I know this has honestly been a pain point for users. I have gotten so many comments on my standby mode video where people have just complained that the display goes off and they don't want it to. So now you have this option for just automatically, a set period of time, or just never. Just never turn off. I know it's going to make a lot of you pretty darn happy. The next feature to talk about is under sounds and haptics. Apple has brought these tones back. So if we go to ringtone, all the new ones that had been removed in the first beta of 17.1 are now here again. Somebody had just compiled it before 17 was released. Those uh, tones were not in here, now they are. They still sound a little low volume wise, but yes, they are all back here. Uh, the ringtones as well as tech tones, all of these. And you can continue to set custom tones. This was broken in iOS 17. It is fixed here in 17.1 beta 2. Finally, widgets. These have had a fix for them. So if you're using remote widgets with Mac OS Sonoma, sometimes they would show up blank. There was like an issue mismatch between the two systems. That has been fixed. So that should be working correctly. All your widgets should display correctly over on Mac OS Sonoma. By the way, since we're talking about updates, watchOS 10.1 Beta 2 finally does add double tap to the Apple Watch Series 9 and Apple Watch Ultra 2. We'll have another dedicated video showing you how to use it coming up very soon. So when could we see iOS 17.1 released? That is a big debate, and right now, part of the debate is whether or not it will include the fix for the iPhone 15 series, not just the titanium versions, and their overheating problem. Apple said a software update is coming out very soon to quash this issue. And it's just going to be a debate whether it's going to come out as 17.0.3, which could theoretically just come out this week, or if Apple's going to put it into 17.1, which could come out sometime later this month. I think right now we're going to see a second or a third beta of iOS 17.1 next Tuesday. So that would come on the 10th. So I think that makes sense. Weekly betas at this point. There's not anything big, massive in this update. So I think Apple should be able to push it out pretty darn quickly. Double tap on Apple Watch Series 9 and Ultra. It seems to be working smoothly. So that should be able to arrive as well by the end of the month. I don't know. It's just whether Apple wants to split this up into two updates and do 17.0.3 to fix overheating issues, or if we're going to get it in a subsequent 17.1 update. At this point, there's no way to tell if the overheating issues are fixed with this update. Honestly, I never experienced the overheating issues with any of my phones, but I know part of it came from errant apps, and the apps that they had described, like Instagram, were not ones that I used. So I never, I never had this issue going on personally. Um, but I know a lot of people did enough so that obviously Apple's addressing it and there's an actual problem that is not related to the titanium and Apple did confirm that the titanium is actually better at cooling the phone 
than even the stainless steel versions. So let me know what you guys think. Is there anything else you wanna see Apple pack into 17.1? Do you think we're gonna get a 17.0.3 or we're gonna get 17.1 with an overheating issue fix? Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. You can also let me know on threads at Andrew O'Hara 941. Stay tuned, got a lot more videos coming your way.